Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on the local environment in WebSphere Message Broker version 8 from Transformer Tech Inc. Today we're going to be talking about the local environment and some of its uses. Uh, you can store variables in ESQL to be used later in your flow. You can use and get custom HTTP data like URL resource locations. And what we're going to be focusing on today is using the local environment to set custom file names. Now these are just a few of the things you can do with the local environment but there are very, there's a very vast array of things that you could do with it. All right, to add a custom file name, we're going to go over the steps. First, we're going to want to add a configure MQ input node so we can put a message into our queue. We're going to add and configure a file output node. That way we have our message be output to a file with a file name that we're going to set using local environment. We're going to add, configure, and implement a compute node so we can use some ESQL to get our file name and set it to the local environment. Then we're going to add and configure our mapping node so we can pass our message through the flow. We can deploy the flow, and then we're going to run a flow test to make sure that's working correctly. All right, so we'll start with our fresh flow here, nice and clean. And the first thing that we're going to do is add in an MQ input node. All right, and we're going to use the queue that we create in the MQ Explorer right in there as our input queue. So it's local environment in. Alright, after that we gotta make sure we set up the input message parsing. We're gonna start as an MRM message because it's just text. We use the message model from the message set that we already created. Uh, the message is gonna be the in message and the physical format is gonna be text one. Our next step is to put a file output node in because we want our message to be output to a file that we're gonna change the name of in ESQL. So we'll give it a directory and for the file name we can put anything that we want right now and we're going to be changing it inside the local environment with ESQL. All right, our next step is going to be to create a compute node. We'll give it a good name. Change. So now we know exactly what it does. All right, and we want to make sure that we set the compute mode to local environment and message so it passes not only the message, but also the local environment. Okay, and we'll go in here. First thing we're going to want to do is uncomment that. That way we can use that procedure to copy the entire message and have it pass along in our, through the node. And I'll, for the code here, I'm just going to copy it in and then we'll go through it. Okay, and what this code is going to do is have us set up a date and uh, a file name. We're going to append the date to the file name and then we're going to set the output local environment uh, to that file name that we set. Uh, you could also do this in a Java uh, compute node or you can do it directly in the mapping by setting the target of the local environment. And our, and our first two lines right here are going to be just declaring two character strings, one for the date and one for the file name. Then here we're going to set the date. Uh, we're going to cast it as a character format with this type of date, date format right here. Uh, right, This next line, we're going to be setting the file name to the local environment example. Then we're going to use the pipette to concatenate the string date variable that we have here and then a .txt extension and finally our last line of code the most important one is going to set the output local environment dot destination file name as our variable for the file name that we want to use and that's it for the ESQL next we go back to our flow add a mapping node give it a nice name We'll go into it, leave all these default, use our message set we already created, into out, finish. All right, first thing we want to do is set our into out to each other. Next, the important step is we want to add in the local environment to the headers and footers. So we'll go, we'll make sure it's selected. We'll go to edit inside the properties, local environment. Right. Same thing on the other side, edit, local environment, all right, and now we're just going to drag this to connect here to map it across, and we're all set for the mapping. Next, we'll go back to our flow. Now that we have all the nodes created, we're going to want to start wiring them up into outs. Here, we're going to choose out, but you could choose if you had some sort of logic in your ESQL code for error detection, and you had it going to different uh, output nodes, then this is where you could set different outs depending on errors or whatever. And you can also set different file names depending on where you're sending it. We're going to leave this here. 
All right, and the next step is going to be to clean and build the project, make sure everything's in tip top shape. Right, after that, we'll take our flow and we'll deploy it to our execution group. And after our flow is deployed, we're going to start the debugger and put one, get that rocking, add breakpoints so we can test our message through the flow using our flow test. Right, once that's done, we have, we're going to set up a flow test, an NQ message. We're going to have the local host, the port number set, the server channel as default. Then we're going to add in our queue manager and our queue. And our simple text file just says text. And we'll send that through. Look at it on the debugger. Right, as we can see at the first breakpoint, we just have the message in there. It's the MRM. We're going to step over our compute node. See, we still have that. But we, now we also have the local environment set just how we set it inside the compute node. We'll check it through the mapping, see that it's still set the same. And finally, we will have an output. We'll go to the directory, and we can see that our message has been outputted to a file with the file name that we set using the local environment. All right, in conclusion, we're just going to go over the steps again to add in a custom file name using the local environment. We have to add a configured MQ input node so we can put messages into our queue and have them go through our flow. We're going to add a configure file output node so we can output the message onto a file with our custom file name. We're going to add configure and implement a compute node that will set the local environment file name to something that we want using ESQL. Then we're going to add and configure a mapping node to pass the local environment through a mapping. We're going to have to deploy the flow and we're going to run a flow test so we can test the output and make sure we're getting what we want. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to set up your own custom file names using the local environment from Transformatech Inc.